Here's everything you need to know about First Life, the first book in the Everlife series by New York Times bestselling author Gina Showalter. Meet Tenley Lockwood, or Ten. She's got mad skills with numbers and a stubborn streak. She's also unsigned, which means she hasn't chosen where she wants to live after she dies. Right, let's back up. <laughs> the life you're living right now, the one with your friends, your school, your family, it's only your first life. And that life boils down to a single choice that will define you for all of eternity. Pressure much? When you die, you begin your ever life in one of two realms, myriad or troika. For myriad, think independence, bliss, indulgence. They work hard, but play harder. With troika, it's more about structure, equality, and freedom of choice. They stand up for what's right. Surprise! The realms have been at war for centuries, trying to destroy the other. That's why picking the right side is so important. Someday, someone is going to lose. Before you die, you have to make covenant with one of the two realms. P.S. That's basically a blood contract. Yikes. And if you don't, that means you're unsigned. And if you're unsigned when you die, that's a first-class ticket to the realm of many ends, a.k.a. where nightmares come to life. Recap. Remember our girl Ten? She's unsigned. And that's a problem. Especially since she's special with a capital S. Ten has the power to help either realm win the war. The problem? She's just not ready to make that decision yet, okay? We're talking about eternity here. The even bigger problem? Her parents are die-hard myriad supporters. And in exchange for the promise of wealth, power, and fame in the Everlife, they've passed Ten over to an asylum to be convinced. Spoiler alert, that's code for torture. Harsh. And just to make everything more complicated, Myriad and Troika have both sent their best and sexiest laborers to recruit her. Told you it was complicated. Both realms will do just about anything for Ten, including kill her if they think she's going to make the wrong choice. Soon, Ten finds herself on the run, not knowing who she can trust, and trying to stay alive long enough to make a decision. It can't get any worse. Just kidding. The realm Ten finds herself drawn to? It's not home to the boy she's falling for. Can she survive eternity without him? You'll have to read it to find out. Don't Miss First Life by Gina Showalter.